What's going on, y'all? Cicada so Amp here. Today I got something uh, a little, a little different for y'all. Something definitely special. Something I've been working on for a couple months now. This is the Cicada Mind. I would say build video, but it's not truly a build video. It's more of like a overview build video. So the first thing I want to do is break down the list of components that I actually use for this build. So for the case, I chose an NZXT S340 Elite Special Edition. That's the purple and black. It comes with this nifty cable management puck which is intended for VR headsets, the cable wrapping them up. It detaches dead center and it's magnetic so it sticks anywhere that there's steel on the case, which is most of the case. In case you haven't noticed by the top there is actually an HDMI pass through. This case is actually VR ready, it's intended for VR usage. The motherboard is the ASUS ROG Strix X370F gaming motherboard. That is AMD's AM4 X370 chipset. The GPU I've chosen is the ASUS GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. For storage, I went with the Samsung 860 EVO series. That is the two and a half inch drive. It's 250 gig capacity. And also went with a 960 EVO, which is an NVMe SSD at 250 gigs as well. And I decided to put the OS on there for faster boot time. So for memory, I went with the G-Skill Trident Z RGB series 16 gig kit, which is two eight gigabyte sticks. The CPU is an AMD Ryzen 7 1800X. Now the cooling solution for the CPU was the NCXT Kraken X62 Liquid AIO. It's a 280mm fan front mounted radiator, software controlled RGB lighting. The PSU is a Thermaltake through power grand. It's a RGB 650 watt gold rated power supply and it's fully modular. The kit comes with everything seen here. For a little added spice in my peripherals, I decided to go with the NTXT Hue Plus Lighting Solution, which is a smart RGB color changing and digitally controlled LED PC lighting solution. I went with the white with the purple LED. And the NTXT USB internal hub, which increases my system's connectivity. It connects internally and expands with three internal connectors and two external connectors to connect to basically all-in-one coolers, fan controllers, lighting accessories, whatever. It has a dedicated Molex power cable and it delivers sufficient power for other connected devices. It's designed to be tucked away inside of your build because it has a magnetic body, which means it can stick pretty much anywhere to a steel case. It also has cable management straps, just in case your build isn't particularly steel or you just want to put it somewhere where it won't necessarily stick. This is a good way to feature-proof your system and ensure that regardless of the motherboard you chose, such as myself, without actually looking at the specifications and really cross, <laughs> cross-examining everything or checking for cross compatibility the way I should have um, you can still make sure that your system will be running because as I said before with the Molex power supply it definitely is more than sufficient it's a discrete power delivery system that people won't even realize is there and that's it that's the list of components and now I'm gonna leave you with some footage of me actually trying to build it with one hand so I hope you guys enjoy this um it's not gonna be very pretty to watch believe me I had to actually do it but um, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one, all right? Peace.